Prologue. Crisis in Ferdiad. Upon his return to Garrig Mach, the humble Tomas shapeshifts and flees, and not even the Knights of Ceres' most concerted efforts can track down the erstwhile librarian. Dimitri elects to keep an eye on events from afar and not involve himself in the disturbance. Soon, however, an urgent message arrives from Ferdiad, capital of the Kingdom of Fargus. Well, that was certainly an unexpected conclusion to the whole Tomas saga. Thanks to his shape-shifting ability, he slipped free of the knights and escaped. Shape-shifting? Yes, that's what I said. Also, I know what you want to say next. His powers are just like the ones you gave me. His powers are just like the ones you gave me. Are you in league with him, Arval? Where do these powers come from? If I am in league with him, no one has informed me. All I have is you, my dear partner in destiny. Still, I saw what you saw. Clearly, we don't have a monopoly on shapeshifting. Now that everyone knows about Tomas, some of them must have connected the dots back to me. At least they've had the grace to keep it to themselves. It's because they trust you. Hold on, someone's coming. Ah, there you are. Something wrong? No, I... I simply wanted to check in after the unsettling events of the other day. I kind of try not to dwell on stuff like that, but I admit I'm having more trouble shrugging this off than usual. It's gonna make my life a lot harder if my powers end up being evil. Hmm, perhaps. And yet... Hmm... How do I put this? Power is neutral. The good or evil of it comes from the one who wields it. For example, I possess extreme strength, and have always believed this gift was bestowed upon me so that I might protect others. And you used your power to save us, which means it cannot possibly be evil. Didn't mean to fish for sympathy there, but... Well, thanks. My apologies if I overstepped. I've been looking all over for you, Prince Dimitri. Her Grace the Archbishop is asking for you. She requests that you come to the audience chamber immediately. Duke Fraldarius has arrived for a visit. Rodrigue is here? I'm on my way. Let us continue this discussion later. Hold on. What did you say? I've only just heard the news, so... I'm a bit hazy on the finer points. But it seems my uncle has seized control of the capital and declared war on House Fraldarius. All signs point to him wanting to stamp the line out entirely. That's Felix's family, right? They're one of the kingdom's leading houses. What does the royal family gain from eliminating them? I'd wager it has to do with House Fraldarius supporting my claim to the throne. The bigger question is why the Grand Duke chose to launch an offensive now of all times. Whatever the reason, he must have decided to act before His Highness's coronation could take place. My uncle claims House Feldarius is attempting to install me as their puppet. As such, he issued a written appeal to the Western Lords to help him rescue me from the Duke's foul clutches, as he puts it. In what cruel world would our noble house take the reins of a boar like you? Don't ask me, it's his pretext. So what exactly is going on in the capital? You said it's been seized. Oh dear, I do hope nobody there has been met with foul play. He's in no position to engage such a move until I've been removed from the situation. 
I say the regent should be dealt with. I haven't heard one good thing about his leadership. I've no intention of becoming a pawn in this game. All the same, I must return to Fargus at once. Dudu, you will accompany me. As you wish, Your Highness. Felix, I'm sure your father will contact you soon. For now, just wait for Rodrigue to weigh in. Uh. Ash? Sorry, it's just that Lenato used to be in the Grand Duke's service, so... He is a man of compassion. It's not out of the question he'll be swayed to my uncle's side. Truth be told, we're not sure where anyone's allegiances lie at this point. So let's not hasten to conclusions, any of us. We must all keep level heads. I'm told you are sending the knights to help us, Lady Rhea. I do not wish to sound ungrateful, but are you sure you want to do that? The Church of Seros cannot overlook this grievance. Regrettably, many of our knights were dispatched elsewhere several days ago on another matter. However, while we may lack numbers, we have put together a unit of considerable skill. It will be captained by someone near and dear to you, in fact. Someone well suited to a mission within the kingdom. Someone near to... Ah, of course. That is encouraging. Since its very inception, we have watched over the kingdom of Fargus as one would their own child. When its peace is threatened, the Church has no choice but to act. I have not forgotten your outpouring of aid after my father's passing four years ago. And I swear to repay that kindness in full. One other thing. A suggestion, if you will, from the Church. Interesting. So she wants all of us to go with you? Yes. This time, the Knights of Seros will be accompanying us, in addition to Professor Yuritsa. Well, I certainly don't mind. But Annie and Ash, what about you? You know I'm always behind you. But considering what it means for my uncle, I don't know. House Dominic's lands are surrounded by other houses that are likely to support Rufus's claim. If I join you, it could sour my family's relations with our neighbors. I'll go. I mean, of course I don't want to get Lenato into any trouble. But I also know he'd want me to do what I think is right. I'm sorry to place such a difficult decision on your shoulders, Ash. And what of you? I'm in. The more time I spend here at the Academy, the more I miss actual fighting. Besides, I want to use my powers to help. After all, the good or evil of a thing comes from the person wielding it. Am I right? <laughs> Indeed it does. You have my thanks. There you go again, throwing yourself headlong into the first conflict you find. No wonder I have to keep stepping in to guide you. Still, we basically have no choice, so run wild, I guess. I'll inform you of the details soon. Please ensure you're prepared by then. On. 
Hey, you. Huh? Indeed. This way. thoughts. So listen. Um, yes. Nice day we're having. A second? moment. Got a minute. 
Well, um... Hmm. Let's see. Let's give it a go. <laughs> Greetings. You have my thanks. Duke has stamped out most of the troops who invaded Fraldarius. As things stand, a clash on royal soil and eventually within the capital is inevitable. As you are the only blood kin I have, my lord, I pray we might find a way to resolve this conflict peacefully. Bah, what rubbish. He sings of conciliation, but I know a threat when I read it. Shouldn't you take better care of a letter from your dear nephew, my lord? He's not expecting a reply. The creature means to slay me. Your fear of Prince Dimitri runs deeper than I thought. You shouldn't have missed your chance four years ago in Dusker, or two years ago during the suppression of the rebellion. That's twice you failed to kill him. I've learned my lesson. A lion's cub is still a lion, and one cannot slay a lion with a clumsy scheme. It's those monstrous eyes, Cornelia. They terrify me. The boy is a vicious animal, yet he attempts to feign actual grief that we can't find common ground. The aberrance of it shakes me to my core. <laughs> I understand completely. Every night since I killed my brother, I dream a lion is ripping out my throat. You'll run yourself ragged if you live your days in fear of revenge. You were meant to rule Fargus, and you have the power to make it so. Your royal army is the finest in the realm, and if I may be so bold, you also have me. Put your worries to rest, my king. Sleep deeply and without fear. I'm so utterly tired. Tired of being afraid. Tired of what I've become. All of it. I see. And how much longer until Talus gives the word? I know only that something is amiss in the Imperial capital. Curse it all! I am not waiting a thousand years for that doddering old fool to act! Rally the Western Lords and their troops, and be quick about it. Have them make ready to intercept that whelp. As you command, Cleopulus. According to our scouts, the enemy has positioned their troops on the capital streets. So they can use the townsfolk as shields when we take the fight to them. But vulgar tactics. Well, now that we know their strategy, our next move will be critical. A victory stained with the people's blood achieves nothing. We'll need to move our forces swiftly, but with caution. To do. Has there been a reply from my uncle? Nothing of yet. Hmm. I thought not. Your Highness, will you truly be able to strike Rufus down when the time comes? I will do what is required of me. Preparations are complete, Your Highness. The people are waiting for you, Dimitri. Let's not keep them any longer. No, we'd best not. You're our commander, but you look like you're heading for a funeral. Could you maybe try not being so insufferable? Apologies for my demeanor. 
I've more than a few things on my mind. But very well. Let's begin our final war, Council. You look pale. Not keen on fighting your own blood? Sadly, I saw this fight coming long ago. Then what's the problem? Now that I've brought the fight to the streets of the capital, I wonder if my actions are right. Most of the people here favor keeping the royal line of succession. And that's because my father and the kings before him maintained peace inside these walls. But ever since my uncle seized power, the people have been forced to endure his licentious reign. Did you know they asked me to assume the throne before my time at the academy? They said only a true king could undo Rufus's misrule. So why didn't you? Because it would have divided the kingdom, just as it's doing now. Yet had I supported my uncle's claim, it would have been open rebellion. And the only way to prevent such a rebellion is to invade the capital and kill the regent. In other words, I cannot restore my grandfather's peace without first breaking it. In that case, there's no reason to hesitate. You know fighting is the only answer here. You just have to accept it. <sighs> my apologies. I have a bad habit of agonizing over such things. And as all of you have come this far to help me, the least I can do is make an attempt at optimism. Begin the operation. 
Our orders are clear. Shall we? Let's give it a shot. Let's begin. It's time to move. I'll do my best. I'm a little nervous about this. I'll do what I can. It's worth a shot. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of this. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to... The soldiers are using the town's focus shield. What coward! Our first priority is to secure the people safe. They don't want to wait. They'll start by eliminating guards on the capital perimeter. Commence the attack. This will go faster if we split into two groups. Out of the way! Take the defenses! Take the Show up the defenses! Not a problem. Move out! I've awaited this moment. I know this broke a sweat there. Next! Perimeter is secure. Things should be easier now that we know our backs are safe. Open the gates and seize the town. But ensure no harm comes to the people. Ferdiad is large. I'll do what I can. It's worth a shot. I'll do my best. I'm a little nervous about this. Let's begin. It's time to... Shall we? Let's give it... Begin the operation. Our orders are... Not a problem. I've got this. We should divide and conquer. Hey, aren't the front gates still closed off? We should probably open them up so we can get reinforcements in here. Yeah? A fine idea. And if things go awry, we might need another way out. This stronghold will fall! Well, he's about to wonder. Clearly, that apple did not fall far from the tree. To think they would involve innocent people! We must end this battle as soon as we can! Let us take this stronghold! Now is our chance. Attack. We will proceed as we must hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of this. Shall we? Let's give it a shot. Begin the operation. Our orders are not a problem. I've got this. It's time to move. Allow me. The officers of Ether can offer. This stronghold will fall! I can still fight! I do this for His Highness. We will proceed as planned. We must strike. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work. I'll do my best. 
I'm a little nervous. I'll do what I can. It's worth a shot. Not a problem. I've got this. In that case, fling open the gates. Sorry, your highness. I stole your thunder there. Your highness, you're all right. Some nights we we should have never let it come to this. Do not blame yourselves. However, you seek to make amends. Lend me your strength and help me reclaim the capital. Again, it's time to move. Shall we? Let's give it a begin the operation. Our orders are clear. I'll do my best. I'm a little nervous about this. I'll do what I think it's worth a shot. We will proceed as we must steer you loud and clear. I'll make short work of this. Forgive me, my lord. I see our enemy is somewhat confident. Deal with this, Viscount Clyman. Worry not, Cornelia. We will save Prince Dimitri from that vile puppeteer who controls him. Take care of those soldiers before we're boxed in. I suggest we again divide our soldiers to deal with the multiple threats, your highness. We must. I'll do my best. I'm a little nervous. Shall we? Let's give it a shot. Not a problem. I've got this. Let's begin. It's time to move. Begin the operation. Our orders are clear. I'll do what I can. It's what I shall take I'll the lead. You no mercy. Yeah. 
to show you no mercy! Thank the goddess we were able to keep the people out of harm's way. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make sure I'll do my best. I'm a little nervous. Shall we? Let's give it a- We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best of our ability. Begin. Our orders are- Let's begin. It's time. To... I'll do what I can. It's worth a shot. I've got this. Take Please, a Please, your highness. You must see reason. We're Ta only doing our duty. Take him into custody. I have a lot of questions. At once, your highness. Let's take the stronghold. The throne should be safe for the time being. Let's press on to the castle. How do we breach the castle with the drawbridges up? These people are hopelessly outnumbered. Unleash our units from the strongholds and crush them all. I'll do my best. I'm a little nervous. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of this. Could be our chance. There are controls by the castle gates that lower the drawbridges. We can do so from within the strong tanks. Your Highness, the troops that escaped the castle have taken up position in the surrounding strongholds. That won't do. We must retake them at once and ensure the town is safe for good. We're here to wreck. I'll do what I can. It's worth a shot. Let's begin. It's time. Begin the operation. Our orders are clear. Shall we? Let's give it a... We will proceed as planned. We must... Shall we? Let's give it a shot. Rescue us. Give us the honor of joining you in battle. Let's take the stronghold. Let us crush their defenses. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of this. Not a problem. I've got this. I've awaited this moment. Hmm. 
Now is our chance. Attack! Last of the strongholds. We should be much quieter around here from now on. We will proceed as planned. We move now. Shall we? Let's give it a shot. Hear you loud and clear. Come on, let's get marching. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of this. I'll do my best. I'm a little nervous about this. Let's begin. It's time to move. I'll do what I can. It's worth a shot. Begin the operation. Our orders are clear. The main entrance is blocked. We need to find another way in. Let's take the stronghold. Broken, no mercy. Now's our chance. Attack! Let's begin. Defensive positions! My turn. Now, if we lower the other drawbridge, we'll be able to attack the enemy from both sides. I clearly underestimated the royal wealth. Time for someone to put him in his place. Proceed as planned. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best of our ability. Let's begin. It's time to move. I'll do my best. I'm a little nervous about... I'll do what I can. It's worth a shot. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of... Shall we? Let's give it a shot. Begin the operation. Our orders are clear. Now that we have access to both the east and west bridges, it's time to breach the capital, corner the traitors, and strike them down. 
Show them how firmly our defenses can hold. My, this is your lucky day. I've decided that you deserve my personal attention. Ah, fate. You truly are whimsical. Will today mark my death or his? Either way, this must finally come to a close. the operation our orders are clear I'll do what I can it's worth a shot hear you loud and clear I'll make short work of this Again. It's time to move. <laughs> Let's take the stronghold. as planned we must strive we will proceed as planned we must strive to perform to the best of our hear you loud and clear i'll make short work of this i'll do my best i'm a little nervous shall we let's give it died that day. <laughs> Turns out we finally agree on something. But seeing as I yet live, I have a duty to fulfill. Oh my! What fascinating power you possess! Sure is. But if you think I need it to beat me, think again. Oh, you poor dears. I've never seen so many deleted holes in one place. Done. 
shall we? Let's give it a shot. Let's begin. It's time. I'll do my best. I'm a little nervous about this. I'll do what I can. It's worth a shot. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make sure we'll begin the operation. Our orders are clear. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the little beasts. None of this would be happening if not for that old man talk. Getting wrapped up. Not a problem. Been my fun again. But sadly, I must bid you farewell. Well, couldn't hurt. <laughs> She's slippery, that one. I've got this. I've awaited to stand back now. So, it's come to this at last. Held it. If you want my hand. Then come fight! I intend to talk! <laughs> On our pride as knights, we will defend our needs to the last! My uncle seems determined to not surrender. This means he gives me no other choice. What right do you have to rule over men when you're barely you yourself? You're not least. Nothing more. Are you ready? What are you waiting for, monster? Kill me. Avenge your father. Find that man. And take him away. Your Highness, we are moving Rufus to a cell and preparing him for questioning. Good, thank you. I will join you shortly. Raise your voices with me, friends. You fought hard this day, and now victory is ours! Keep aiming higher. I must keep aiming higher. I think I've grown. I think I'm improving. Stronger? We'll see about that. Oh, I feel stronger. I won't let myself stop here. Best use this power. No, this is not my peak. Hey, I'm getting better. I think I'm getting the hang of this. <laughs> I think I've learned something new. Something you feel like saying? No. All traitors get put to the sword.
It's his duty as king. Final words? None for you. But tell me something, boy. Does it trouble you to slay your own kin? <sighs> what a surprise. I did not think you capable of sympathy, craven monster that you are. Yes. But either way, I do what I must. Well, to perish by your hand. It is a fate that I much deserve. Which leads the lords Elidor, Mateus, and Clyman. We believe they, as well as many powerful Western lords, were accomplices in the assassination of the late king. Along with the Grand Duke, they seem to have received large sums of money and supplies from the imperial nobility. Thinking this to be recompense for the assassination in Dusker, we investigated the link further. In 1171, the mage Cornelia arranged for a certain powerful imperial family to come to the kingdom. That's the year when my step-uncle, Lord Arundel, brought Edelgard here in exile. Correct. We think Lord Arundel and his followers were behind the matter. They have deep ties to the Imperial household. As I suspected. You're a clever man, Margrave Gautier. Well done. Thank you, Your Highness. If we continue bringing information out of them at this pace, We'll soon have a clear picture of what transpired. My uncle's attendants must also confess to the slaughter in Dusker. But now that things have come this far, we can't expect the Western Lords to stay silent. We need a way to keep them far from power. Oh, there are always ways, provided you're willing to keep all your options open. Yes, I suppose so. Let us speak more of this later. For now, spread word of what you have found to every palace and pub in the land. That should help keep the lords in check. Is that wise, your highness? If we announce that Rufus was involved in the tragedy of Dusker... I will not feed my people half-truths. They deserve to know. I've always admired that candor, Your Highness. Yet such news is sure to create a degree of unrest in the kingdom. So you suggest we bury the truth? Should it somehow come to light, the people's faith in me will be forever shaken. If the kingdom is ever to part ways with our bloody past, this is the path we must walk. Fine words, though I doubt they'll appease the people of Dusker nor the rest of Fargus, many of whom will not be so quick to forgive. Ha! <laughs> we thought you might say as much, which is why His Highness and I have devised a solution. I will resign the title of Duke and pass it to my heir. Spare me, Rodrigue. One person with wild ideas is already one too many. It's not wild at all, Matthias. Someone must bear responsibility for what happened in Dusker. People will naturally seek to point the finger at His Highness, and we need him unsullied if he is to lead. Someone has to get down in the mud and bear the slings and arrows for him. Who better for such a task than me? Rodrigue will abandon his title and work with Dudu to restore harmony between our people. I'm not asking him to take his life. Rather, he offered to spend it to set things to rights. In that case, we've only to deal with the issue of the throne. I believe we should move forward with your coronation straight away. I agree. My time at the Officer's Academy was a valuable experience, but I belong here now. Obviously, Felix won't be able to return either. Have him come to me later 
so I can deliver the news and an apology. I've already had a word and told him what must be done. You've no need to apologize. <sighs> yes, I have. As for you, Gustav, you'll also be staying here in the kingdom. But I abandoned my homeland. There can be no place for me in Fargus. I will make a place for you. I need your help. Lady Rhea will understand. It... It would be my great honor, Your Highness. Send word to the Church and the Lords. Count Galatea will be in charge of contacting the South. Now, there's another topic I'd like to discuss. I wish to reorganize my army. Since I have you all assembled, I'd like to hear your suggestions. You still working, Dimitri? Have you even slept since the battle? <laughs> Never mind that. There's a favor I've been meaning to ask of you. It won't happen right away, but I'm considering the formation of a new private army. I need someone to captain them, and I was hoping it might be you. And what does the leader of the kingdom need with a private army? I fear my uncle may have rubbed off on too many of my knights. I'm not saying they're all bad, but it's clear as day that bribery ran rampant. To rectify the matter, I'm looking into a complete reorganization of the army. These next several years will be an age of civil war, and I want to be surrounded with the best and most loyal soldiers I can find. Well, that does sound interesting. Still, I'm just a regular old grunt. Why put me in charge? Because this will be an army of commoners, not knights and nobles. A mercenary like you is far more likely to earn their trust than some stuffy noble who's never known a day of hardship. Please, allow me to be clear. This is not an order. If you'd rather return to the academy, you're free to do so. Are you kidding? I'm in. Thank you, Dimitri. Having put down Rufus's revolt and ended his uncle's life, Dimitri draws closer to the truth regarding the tragedy of Dusker and also begins the process of ascending the throne. All the while, the Adrestian Empire deals with a fierce power struggle in its capital, Anbar, while the Leicester Alliance finds themselves pitted against an invading Olmyran horde. Realizing the troubles of Fodlin will fall squarely on her young student's shoulders, Archbishop Rhea closes the Officers' Academy and permits her charges to return home. <laughs>